Hey, Silver. I gotta get some tape for this mic. I just flipped it on, it flipped off. Again. Alright, let's see if I need to mess with any options. Subtitles on. Barcelona warships are still out looking for us, so we'd better get this over with. We all know what to do, so throw in your swords if you're vying for Captain. Then we vote, all right? Oh. Ah. You must be joking. Huh? I, if Duke were Captain, we'd sail off the edge of the world chasing beautiful butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he'd sell our ship for a cargo hold to roast turkeys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know he would. <laughs> <laughs> I'd make a good captain. Captain Miracle said so. <laughs> oh, you big oaf. He said you'd make a good capstan, not captain. <laughs> yeah, how rude. Of course, you can pull up an anchor better than any piece of wood. They ain't much smarter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. Now, Duke. Ow. Oh. Don't beat up your um. Uh, before you kill the lot of them. Ooh. Don't you think you need them? Oof. Uh, to sail the ship, Ooh. boy means. Ooh. Hey, Ooh. true. Yeah. We could stand to lose a few slaggers, but most of them we need, right? <laughs> Listen to old Slewface. We'd love to make you captain. Really, we would. But you're just not a true swashbuckler yeah, like our no. dear departed <laughs> Captain Amerigo. Yet, that is. If you want to be voted captain, you have to have all the skills and traits of a true swashbuckler, right? Just like Captain Amerigo. Uh, right. Like what? Well, for one thing, hmm, you need to be a suave ladies' man. You remember how all the wenches and ladies flock to Amerigo like tiger shark to chum? Remember, huh? Oh, how the Ninkin princess almost swooned over Amerigo right in front of her father. <laughs> Remember that? Yep. <laughs> barely escaped. Right. <laughs> right. We barely made it out alive. So, Duke, while we repair the ship, I want you to go into town and woo three ladies to prove you're a true swashbuckler. You know, captain material. Prove you have that suave demeanor you give me meaning. We'll postpone the vote till then. How does that strike you? Uh, make three women swoon? Hmm. Oh, like three trials to fall of. in love with you. Use your wit and charm. Should be no trouble for a strong, handsome lad like yourself. Then just bring your three new lady friends back here to uh, vouch for you. And we have a deal, right, matey? Hmm. Deal. Oh, you have my vote, Slewface. And mine. Yes. Aye. Well. Glad that's settled. We just need to make quick work of the repairs before he realizes I just sent him on a wild goose chase. You think you were mad a minute ago? 
It'll be nothing compared to how furious it'll be when he finds out he's been duped. Now I've asked all of you, get to the repairs. I'll... I'll look after Duke. Then, uh, where's to after repairs? I have a lead on some lightly guarded looker. Uh. A vast horde, matey. The likes we've never seen before. It's location our former captain kept to himself. Hmm. I hope to almighty I be not underestimating you, Duke. Or you will be the ruin of us all. <laughs> Poor Duke. Uh... Three women? That's a lot of women. That's a lot of women. Uh, what's wooing again? Uh, you won't find out here. Get walking. Why three women? <laughs> you have to live up to the reputation of our dear departed captain. He was a dashing gent. Where can I meet lasses? I've only been to this island once. All I did was buy limes. There must be at least one tavern that welcomes women. You know, I don't talk to women well. I spent me life with a bunch of blokes at sea. When villagers see me, they run screaming. You're not giving up, are you? What? Nay! Why does our crew care? They need to know you're suave, resourceful, and courageous. I must become a mighty swashbuckler. I just don't see how this will make me captain. <sighs> it's what you agreed to, all right? Woo three women, become captain. Don't try to figure it out. You're muscle, not brains. Enough talk. On with adventure. Exactly. On with adventuring. Twould take a hundred kegs to quench me thirst. Never thought how expensive it is to keep me aboard. That's why you didn't get an invite to the barbecue. <laughs> wow. Nothing in our inventory. Looks like you're expecting a lot more people. Yeah, pretty cool. Oh, there'll be a good turnout. As soon as folks are confident we got any errant blaze under control. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks like a familiar scene. They already tapped him. Yeah. Ahoy there! Not now. Don't talk to him. Can't you see that firefighter's only inches from a dangerous flame that could burn wildly out of control? Oh. I think that fire be no threat to anyone. Oh no, the meat, yeah. mate. One false turn on the spit by Yeoman Webby there, and our roast is overcooked. Barbecue's an art. If you have any questions, you better ask me. He looks like he'd be serious about his cooking. Mm -hmm. A barbecue is serious business. Wait, I thought it's an art? That too, you're catching on. Can I punch him? Can You'd I be punch surprised him? how many people ask that. But no, he's under our protection. Hey, I need fresh breath for wooing. It's fine. Just don't eat the bladder. Oh, looks good, eh? Nothing like freshly roasted pig. Uh, that be no pig. That's a cappy, cappy, uh, happy eat bar. Uh, Jungle bread. Oh, still delicious, though. Oh, it needs a few hours to cook. We have to kill all the worms. <sighs> Ahoy! I be Duke. Now, oh, welcome. I'm Chief Charlie Burns. Fire Chief, Barbecue Chef, and Honorary Mayor. Charlie Burns. Fire Chief on so small <laughs> an island? Burns. Well, they needed one after half the town burned down in the three alarm blaze last year. Arson? Had to control barbecue fire. Anyway, nice to meet you, dude. But my firemates can't stop talking about you. You wouldn't happen to be ladies, would you? Uh, no. Wait, you oh, on that ship a long time, huh? Every island's different. Just thought I'd ask. Alright, you 
wouldn't happen to be ladies, would ya? Uh, well, I mean, never know. What's going on in Bodacious Bay? I see. The wine auction? No, that was last week. There's a saucy female spy on the run. Ooh. A barge pulled up with a crying noblewoman. And the governor's new fiance arrived. The governor loves our honey glazed ribs. That oh, last good. time I cooked them over the smoldering coals of the old boathouse we accidentally burned down. Gave him a nice salty bite. So, uh, how do you talk to women? We don't have to. They can't resist firemen. Especially ones who cook. Barbecue's an aphrodisiac. Oh, my lord. I don't think you know what a barbecue even is. Your carefree life be tempting, but I mostly eat raw meat. Also, I can't be a fireman because I'm working me way up to swashbuckler. That's why I has to woo three women. I must woo three women. Yeah, you said that. Tis the only way to win over me crew and command their respect. That may not be the best way to choose a leader. But it does sound like a great way to break out of your state buccaneer lifestyle. Face countless challenges and learn a bit about life along the way. Mm -hmm. Or at least get slapped in the face a few times. Your honorary mayor? On account of how I know just about everyone on this island from my cookouts. I'm hoping for real mayor someday. Oh, but Sheriff says I have to cut back on my charcoal-related brush fires to less than once a month. You know of Duke Grabowski? You're the biggest guy I've ever seen. You ever thought about being a firefighter? No time. I must woo three ladies yeah, and become a real swashbuckler. Ladies. To earn the respect of me crew and get promoted to captain. That's a pretty big agenda. Well, most people just ask if they can use the facilities. Oh, and I need to use your facilities. Sorry, the little fireman's room is for barbecue guests only. We've got flaming urinal cakes too. Great flaming urinal Why? If you're looking for a hot place to meet ladies, Try the gnarly narwhal. Talk to Bob, narwhal. the bouncer. Where's the gnar gnarl gnarly wally th that place? Oh, well, don't be slurring like that, or they'll never let you in. They only admit beautiful people. I admit I'm beautiful. You know, I think violence may be the better option in your case. Head to the pub on the bridge, or just give up and join the sad barflies at the Ben Plunder Inn. Home of the Maggot Burger. Why? Any other place to meet, ladies? Jail? Our town share is pretty smoking, but she's out of your league. <laughs> Jail. She's deep? She has 20-20 vision. There'd be girls at our barbecue. As long as we don't burn down any more shade trees. Twas a pleasure chewing the fat with you. I'll tell the folks in town I'm using a new dry rub. A well, secret is Cajun red pepper and honey. Thanks. You still got some on your chin. Mm, nothing in my stuff here yet. Not enough water to slake me thirst. Being a firefighter is heroic, but not strictly swashbuckling. Being a firefighter. No, I didn't want to do that. Shiny. She's a beauty, isn't she? Never been used. Uh, why not? Hello? Any ladies in there? I'm afraid the women folk won't arrive until our barbecue begins. Nothing unusual. Buckets, rain slickers, and hundreds of jars of Chief Burns three alarm spicy barbecue sauce. Jeez. Nothing to seize here. No, I guess that's all it is. Can't go inside the building. That's fine. Too late to confess, mate. If he could talk, he'd admit to being guilty. Of loving barbecue. And not being a very fast runner when the cookout blaze raged out of control. Oh gosh. Gigi von Fluffenstein. We honored him by putting his corpse in one of our best grilling traps. Why? His last words were These ribs smell delicious. Why? Unfortunately, they were his. 
Captain Amerigo be the only dead person I care about. Juniper. He looks a little charred around the edges. Hey, Juniper Black Muller, the crusty corpse. He was a brave soul, ignoring the fires that claimed half the town as they licked at his eels. He licked the bones clean on the meat in that grill basket. A barbecue aficionado to the very end. There be no talking. Any secrets he had went with him to a smoky grave. Lucky for us, he knew the formula to the chief's barbecue sauce. Mm. Better not. The meat looks tender enough to fall off the bone. Yeah. <laughs> if he Bless could you. talk, I bet there'd be quite a story to tell. Oh, no, come on in there, okay. Well, that was Captain Lowgrave, a manor with a fever for barbecue. His clothes be tattered, burned, and stained with coleslaw. Mm. Eh, an unfortunate accident for my last cookout. Eh, the birds got the best parts. Welcome to fabulous Bodacious Bay. For oh, sorry. Welcome to fabulous Bodacious to Bay. <laughs> Coastal. Formerly Plague Beach. Formerly Plague Beach, yeah. Thanks. Not many places welcome Duke. The dead bodies make me feel at home. Too big to fit in me ship. Why do you want to put it in your ship? I be learning more talking to the fire people. San Bandejo Fire Department. You light them, we, we fight, fight them. You fight, light them, we fight them. I'd be looking to cap my ship, not start a fire station. Oh, club sign. Nay, they're all too chatty. Nay, they're all too chatty. Let's see, what groups are on this island? Stowaways International. They're a secretive lot. Federation of Shipboard Cats. The Lice Archives. Nothing that helps me quest. Hmm. Can we take it? These groups be no threat to anyone. Who falls Kitty! <laughs> Kitty! <laughs> Kitty! Big cats nearby. That's not the right thing to punch. Why was I? I wasn't trying to punch anything. No one tells Duke what to do. Something, something, Jaguar. I see it and ignore it. I see it and ignore it. I don't need it to scare me enemies. I don't need it to scare me enemies. Hold on. Mm. There you go. To jail. Adventurous inside. Reliable work at a mill. Steady. Infrequent stabbings. Yeah. No work for the mill? Nay. Duke will never give up so easy. Wenches drink free. Nay, they taste like squid pea. Squid pea? I'm trying to forget how I know that. I don't want to know that. Stupid saltwater reeds! I hate them all! They spring up round your boat and pretty soon you can't leave! No pirate touches them. Hmm. Eat beans. Why would they eat beans? I don't want to eat beans. Let's try to eat them. Go ahead. Don't need that much fiber in diet. I can't see where it's all attached to. Should I just break them and see? Wait, will the bridge collapse and kill dancers? Captain America wanted me to be strategic. I should find out more. I can't see where it's all attached to. Should I just break them and see? I just break them and see. Yes, break them all. Gatekeeper to heaven. Squash man! What? Sarah! You! No brawling! 
take him away. I'll give you a warning, since it's your first offense, but clean up your act. Uh. About to squash me, man. I'm not real interested in chatting. Sorry. I'll crush your next enemy. Fine, whatever. I be Duke. Why'd you report me to the sheriff? Quit complaining. She can put me in shackles anytime. What? Never mind. Those beams below don't look so good. Installed by the best skeleton pirate contractor. The skeleton this pirate. This bridge pirate. barely supports me. It's completely sturdy. Go away. Duke wants in. Are you the Duke of something? Duke Grabowski, mighty swashbuckler. Ah, uh, okay. Sorry, no <laughs> room aboard. Why won't you let me in? Uh, fire code. Ah, I see. Those ladies be too hot. Ah, that's it. Want me to cover your shift? I'd be a great bouncer. I love bar fights. Thanks, but I need the hours. What be this establishment? The Gnarly Narwhal. All the fun of a pirate ship without the death of scurvy. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. The... It does look fun. Know how to talk to ladies? I do okay. You know, if you need help, ask LL Sweet Tea. He's somewhere on this island. LL Sweet Tea. Oh no, wait. He got pinched. Something about the governor. LL Sweet Tea. Where'd you score the ship? She ran aground. She was carrying animals to a private menagerie. You'll probably see him around. In. That's not a sentence. Stand aside, lover. Now you definitely not get here. Let me in now or I'll smash your club. Do your worst. It's insured for fire, earthquakes, pirate pillaging, the whole shebang. You a feared of earthquakes? You feared? No, of course not. No danger here. Whoa, there. Did you feel that? No earthquakes are gonna happen today. Back in two shakes. Back in two shakes. Ahoy! I has many teeth! What? Can't hear ya! I have many teeth. Lovely and unattainable. Someday I'll hold the dainty hand of a trollop like her. Such beauty do not belong in a tavern, nor a top one. I got salty words to share! How can I woo three women if I never get upstairs? Such women be not touched by earthly concerns. Hot as the Aztecan sun, and I'm getting sunburned. You really are. You should stay in the shade. <laughs> uh, come down here, and I tell many flirty jokes. How you come up here? Who are you talking to? Just another guy walking by. Who are you talking to? Too hot to touch. I never know what to bellow at girls. She looks hot and clever and rich. Triple threat. Triple threat. Duke won't be able to pick her up. Not from here, anyway. Bite it. Nay, I don't want to cut me lips. 
hopefully be smooching cuties later. <laughs> Just strong enough to support ethereal beauty. Like shaking down coconuts. Shake! Whoa! Uh-oh! This is an earthquake. Everyone keep dancing. Jail sign I ever seen, and I seen a lot. Signs don't say much. Stealing a jail sign would get me arrested. That's not a heroic reason to do time. It's not a heroic reason. Ahoy! Anyone aboard? Come inside or pipe down. The sad room. The sad room. Attack the prison? I heard that, sailor. Unwise. find someone who can. Lady Aziza, I'd assist you if I could, but Bodacious Bay is a wretched hive of scum and villainy. It's scum and villainy. I have to arrest pirates like him all day. I... Uh, good sir, you are clearly someone who acquits himself admirably. Uh, he's... Are you an honorable man? Lady, I'm a pirate. We be called many things, but never honorable. At least you're honest about it. It hurts me head to lie. Honestly, answer this. Will you help me rescue my daughters? What happened to your daughters? Oh, yeah, my husband is daughters. involved in a terrible celebrity cult. I just had oh, to get my, my girls away. Cults? I can only take so much talk of aliens and Zeta waves. My bodyguard was taking them to safety when their ship was attacked by... By Ogu Raiders. Ogu Raiders? They be nasty. You zombies, bad voodoo. No good. Okay. Want to come to a barbecue? Uh, no. I need to rescue my daughters. Oh, yeah. Where might your daughters be now? They're held captive in the Leviathan Graveyard. Where sea monsters go to die. A lot more no good. They're going to sacrifice my daughters at the next full moon. Oh, no. Uh, <clears throat> like it said, more wretched than hives of scum and villainy. Yes. Duke asks one favor. Anything. Just name it. I'll be needing to seduce you. Duke? Uh, seduce? <laughs> Well, I, uh, what precisely do you mean? Seduce. Uh, woo. It means talk flirty, right? Yes, that yes, is exactly what it means. If you rescue my daughters, I will happily be seduced. <laughs> Duke gets to punch baddies? Yes, Mr. Duke, you get to punch a lot. Let me tell you all about it on the way there. I'll help later. Got things to do first. Be ready soon. Of course. I'll bring my boat around to the pier. No, oh, my Lord. Thanks. Looking at her make me gut feel funny. I don't hit women. Plus, she looks pretty good I with a sword. Feel good that you don't hit women. Uh. Yes, sir. I, er, uh, I not be good talking to ladies. I understand you just fine. Help me get in the tavern. It's up to the bouncer. He decides. He said nay. It's unfair. <laughs> if life were fair, I'd be queen. This room be familiar. You were in that cell? I arrested you and let you go? Nay, the cell was wider. And them shelves were so tall. And everything was funnier. Uh -huh. 
Who be your prisoner? The well-spoken gentleman is LL Sweet Tea. What did Sweet Tea do? I can't discuss an ongoing investigation. Yeah, I like your outfit. Tell so, me about the tavern. It's a fire hazard. Top, anyway. That chimney is about to collapse. I wish I had a way to shut it down. Hmm. Verily. Who be you exactly? Nancy Steele, Sheriff of Bodacious Bay. Why'd they make you sheriff? I used to track down smugglers. This is my vacation. Oh, this is your vacation? What are you off duty? Never. I have two deputies for the entire island. I am never not working. <clears throat> Where can I see deuce ladies? Looks like they kind of did the same thing there. Are you joking? No. They? Well, you can't do it here. Try the tavern, the yeah. gnarly narwhal. I be no. Duke. Where'd you row from, Duke? <laughs> the Brazen Blade. Captain Amerigo's ship. You must have heard of him. Uh, he died, and now I want to take command. Oh. Crew says I can't become captain just by beating them up. Must yeah. prove myself worthy by wooing three wenches. Like a true swashbuckler. Uh huh. Well, Duke, uh, good luck with that. Never mind. No, nah, never mind. They be too tough to talk. Marie Yuren. That's exactly. I remember their face. That's a 2D3D. No. It's like the characters yeah. At least people remember you. Big D. No, don't want to open that. Go ahead. Shara spent time putting these up. Must be like the um, backers. And Maybe stuff next there. year we'll meet. I got enough trouble with my own crew. Now yeah, it looks like the either of the backers. No or... time to hunt bounties. Notice is coming in. Nothing for me. Nothing's ever for me. No. I prefer talking face to face. Easier to hit people who be rude. Easier to be hit people to be rude. Too much for one swashbuckler to handle. You seem fun to drink with. I can always come back to see this. Hmm. No time to deliver their mail. Not getting me mouth near that. I'm trying <laughs> to be a gentleman. Shouldn't look in a woman's drawers. Sheriff needs it more than me. Uh, portrait is... Istvan Mochi. Istvan Mochi. Can't yell at him here. Why would you want to yell at him anyway? I remember their face. An overwhelming number of books. This sheriff be a smarty. Hmm. John Kaufman. John N. Kaufman. Jennifer McMurray. <laughs> As your beings very most wanted. Mm -hmm. Most wanted. Shara spent time putting these up. No time to read all the books. Be this a jail or a junk shop? They be empty. They all be empty. <clears throat> Pirates hate empty bottles. Never. Mm. Kathy. Guilty of standing around a building without good reason, just watching men walk by. Yeah, we don't enforce that law here. Don't need to remind myself of her face. Twill haunt me dreams. Rascal! Captain Jen McMurray. 
Guilty of marrying a royal without the consent of the government. Aye, that'd be the sad end of many fairy tale weddings. Keep running, Captain Jen. Taking it down won't help her. The whole world knows her name. <laughs> At least people remember you. Revik. Wanted for stealing a dozen hearts. Pretty gruesome, really. I don't think that. Poster's like not that. important to me, Quest. They be too tough to talk. Jack, pop goes the Weasel Jones. Guilty of educating dogs. dogs. We oh, crap. Jack, pop goes I the Weasel it. Jones. Guilty of educating dogs. Weasels, dogs, it's all very confusing. Oh, dogs, weasels. Tis a thing I don't need. Boris the Blade. Boris the Blade. So, Wanted for oh corporate gosh. branding. Lake Kubilius. Mm -hmm. Cool name, Lake. Guilty of riding a whale in the port, which is awesome, but sadly illegal. Red beard. Red beard Schwartz. Wanted for kissing longer than ten minutes. They be wanted by everyone. They be wanted by everyone. Chilio Spoon. Leader of the soup thirsty Irish Spoon clan. Fearsome pirates from Dublin who can't get enough of Dublin coddle. They pillage and plunder for it around the world, often having to solve great riddles to procure their addictive salty treasure. I'm gonna be here a long time if I have to read all these. <laughs> well. Chilio Spoon. Leader of the soup th uh, fearsome yeah, yeah. pillage often. I'm gonna be Wrong way, Pete. Guilty of false piracy. So wrong. It's wearing a tiny eye patch and an itsy pirate hat. <laughs> May you find peace and cheese, me hearty. Gotta stop talking to dead things. <laughs> Might squeeze some rum out of it, but it's not worth the effort. Fast Jane Logano. She shook hands with a man. Oh. No wonder she'd be on the run. Princess Maria de Olivares. Appearing in a lewd dress and acting like she's all that. Wow. The drawing be so small, I'll have to meet her and decide for myself. Wow. Wouter von Lewin. I'm not sure I got that right. Wanted for dancing too close. Way, Way too close. Chow time. Refusing to die after a public uh, execution. I guess so. Well, not right after this one. Alice Armbar. <laughs> refusing to wear a corset after I sundown. King's Quest or this, I guess. Most improper. I likes her already. Bad Brian Connors. Bad wore Brian outsized Connor. cod pieces. Not that we were looking. Uh, Invincible Rami Shani. Frightening a baby. Who does that? Tom King, guilty of creating his own island, thinking he won't have to pay taxes. Taxes be a big part of being a landlubber. John Q. Pirate, obviously a false name. Purchased a bank, then robbed himself. It's complicated, but we're pretty sure it's illegal. Robbed a bank and <laughs> robbed himself. Honest Judy Bell. Excessive cows. Tch, honestly, Judy. Do oh curl creephood. Making cheese without a cheese master's license. Oh, that's a very <laughs> serious offense. Little Miss Molly Chalk. Cut a woman's hair without her husband's permission. So many things you get arrested for nowadays. 
He's Astrid B. Refusing to give up state secrets. Hope she's having a good time wherever she is. Jesus Jolly Lord. Caroline Hine. Guilty of kissing on a bridge. Hmm. I'd better be careful. There's a bridge just outside. Oh my gosh. Jason Hooray. Failing to inform victims and authorities before committing murder. What? <laughs> okay. Sarah Burra Burra. <laughs> Drinking in front of children without a license. What? Okay. Christina de San Jose lived in a house with eight women. That'd be a lot of women. You thought three was a lot of women. Red Tom Rackham. Kissing with a mustache. Uh-oh. Didn't know that'd be a crime. Hope the women here are okay with it. Peter Big Peter Silencer. Failing to bring a sword to church. We live in complicated times, Big Peter. Um. Brainless Brian. Named a pig after the governor. Haha. <laughs> Actually, that's pretty smart. Matthew Kabilius, another one of the notorious Kabilius gang. Guilty of worrying squirrels. Pick on someone your own size. Hennedy mm. Brick, wanted for highway robbery, chicken stealing, rum running, public intoxication, and for streaking after said public intoxication. Haha, <laughs> this one's a lot of fun. Oh, you've done it? That's... that's so funny. No ma'am Willie. Refused to pay the bachelor tax. Taxes make a lot of people turn pirate. No ma'am Willie. Chopper Catalina de Cespedes. Wore boots calculated to appeal to prurient interest. Please return boots. Calico Jen. Fed the cat under the table. For shame. For shame. Stabby Natalie Yuhas, aka Rizolka. Guilty of sass. Wow. Eric Gronk Range. He's got the craziest followers. Al Bad Ross. Albatross. Raised battle sharks in a bathtub. Really? You'd be responsible for a lot of pain, Al. All right, Al Badros. Hmm, did I do that one, Calico? Yeah, I did that one. He looks like ladies enjoy him. Nay, I've been in his place. Ahoy, mate. You're Duke G. I hear you need to charm a lady. Three ladies. At the same time? Prisoner, be silent. Who be you? LL Sweet T, author of amorous discourses and courtly compliments for any occasion. Let's help each other out. What be your crime? Sweet talking. Also, maybe I tried to blackmail the governor. Help me get into the tavern. You know girls there? If anything, you should help those ladies out of that fire trap. Know your places to meet girls. Just walk the island. Half the world of women. And you can charm them with my, uh, exclusive techniques. How exactly sweet you be? Duke, I'm an academy of compliments. I have amorous expressions guaranteed to arouse women. Or does a young man capture your fancy? McCrew said women. The lines work on anyone. Okay, good to know. Teach me to talk sweet. Get me out of jail and like Prometheus, I shall bring you fire. Who? What? I know how to make fire. Get me out and I'll teach you to talk sweetly. Teach me to talk sweet. Like I said, if you get me out of here, I'll teach you everything. Psst. 
How about I shake this jail into rubble? Deputies, prepare to fire! Whoa, now! We're just kidding, Sheriff. Duke, I won't live my life as a fugitive. Spring me legally. Get my letter from the packet behind Sheriff Steele. <laughs> Nay, I've been in his place. <laughs> it's like whispering. Prepare to fire. <laughs> Psst, get my letter from the packet behind. Okay. What's your book, sweet D4? Section 1019-33, paragraph 2. Attempted extortion of a public official for financial or pecuniary advantage. Uh. He found a love letter and tried to sell it back to the governor. Can't you let Sweet Tea go? You let me go? The governor says it's a matter of national security. Never mind. Nice place where bad girls and friends meet. If anyone's inside, they won't hear me. To the old stone pier. I don't know. Seems like a trap. I need it here to keep me barons. I'm not great with navigation. Nay, people will think me mad. They be scared enough of me already. Interest in blossoms around this boat. Find all sorts of pretty things on a beach. Pick the flowers around this boat? I'm trying not to kill things unless I has to. We'll see how it goes. No sampling? Filled with abundance. Don't know their names. No sampling. The sign's quite clear. If you're looking for handouts, you won't get them here. If you're looking for handouts, you won't get them here. Monsieur, you won't get them here. Okay, I didn't hear that. Okay. Me think she's Sal. Keep your eyes to yourself. I thank you to mind your manners. Must be fermented. It really messed up those monkeys. Shoo, go away! Shoo, go away! I never know how to talk to lovely fruiterers. Heave to, pirate. You're scaring me customers away. What kind of fruits be here? I got everything. Flumelmas, plurks, pineapples. Never seen such tastiness. No free samples. Where's the bilge rat jerky? Oh, we sold out hours ago. Bilge rat jerky, darn it. Just me luck. What are them monkeys doing? Disgracing themselves. They stink and drink and fight all day. How did the monkeys get here? Something scared them from the jungle, and no one can persuade them to return. Need to get rid of monkeys? Do what you like. I don't owe anyone any favors. You fancy anyone, Sal? You can't handle all this. You can't handle all this. Talk later. Shoo! Shoo! 
you can handle all this. Shoo, shoo. Ugh, boring pretty flowers. Not worth reaching up to eat. Why must no you... one's impressed with those types. Mm, no one's impressed with those types. No sampling. It wouldn't look right in me captain's cabin. Uh, it's my shop. That's what it says. Now don't like the way of my customers. I just take your sign, lady. Too much trouble to steal. Who dares to fight Queenie? Impress your friends and lovers! Anything yet? Nothing. Welcome! Armed guards take all the fun out of sports riots. It's bad luck to punch a musketeer. Musketeer. Ahoy there. What do you want, Swabby? Tough job watching all these people. I'm protecting the governor and his new fiance. They look happy. Gov really knows how to woo. That wasn't that hard. It just gave her an engagement, Tiara. Ooh, wouldn't mind getting my hands on that. Ahoy there. What do you want, Swabby? Tough job. I'm pretty. Look, that wasn't. Ooh. Cossack Mamey. Brave warrior with funny little guitar. I prefer to punch, but death by singing's fun too. We'll sing about this some other day. We could fight, but his mustache is way bigger than mine. You see, Eddie the skeleton. Hey, Edie. Edie. Oh, hi, Duke. You gonna fight? Not today. Got to woo some lady. <laughs> Edie. Haven't seen Edie in a few years. She retired from the ring. No quarrel with him. He's okay. She's a real outlaw. Operates a dance hall on Sundays. I know ya. My name is Juan del San Juan. Perhaps you heard of me. I have now. <laughs> Mary Wren's a dangerous woman. She knows me too well to be wooed. Cutthroat. Cutthroat Sandine. We still got matching scars from fighting in Britannia. Fun times. Nay, too much talk and he'll cut me throat. Well, let's push him then. No quarrel with him. He's okay. Your Lodley's looking good. Been working out. Wrestling Queenie today? Studying her style. I'm not ready to take on Goddesses. Ishel, Goddess of Aztecla. You ever, uh, romance a mortal? Not my thing. I'm not ready to take on Goddesses. That'll be a good fight, but we're currently pals. How'd you land that lady, Gov? 
kind words and family treasures. <laughs> I told you, gold means nothing to me. I find that hard to believe. How long does Woen take? We do instantly. Oh, stop saying that. It makes me sound easy. Condemn the tavern on the bridge. Unsafe for lady dancing. As long as they pay taxes, I don't interfere. Help Lady Aziza rescue her kids. I don't intervene in domestic disputes. Of course you don't. It tends to soil one's clothes and <laughs> uh, reputation. Oh, of course it does. Pardon LL Sweet Pea, or die! Ha! Capital! Save that fury for the ring. You ever fought Queenie? The best fighter becomes governor, right? I hope not. I disagree with Queenie's positions on import tax. Don't tease the animals. Uh, bye. Bye. Good day. Bye, good day. Horse-faced old windbag. Horse-faced... That's me description of most governors. Horse-faced old windbag. Alright. Just in case. I could fold him. But he kicked me off the island. No, good. You're smart with that. Beautiful. But she made her choice. Aw. I think she made a pretty poor choice. Beautiful. But she... Couldn't touch her far above me station. You know LL Sweet Tea? Not nearly enough. No one will speak to that gentleman for many years. You like treasure? It's just a lore. And I'm no fish. Stop discussing royal heirlooms. We don't want an incident. Fancy tiara you got. Yeah, he says it's priceless. Yeah, that's a really long neck. Do ladies like fights? I do. I admire the footwork. You really gonna marry this guy? Probably. My heart knows what it wants. Me heart only pumps blood. What impressed you about your man? His voice, his wit, and I knew it would piss off my mom. Wow. See ya. Adieu. It would piss off my mom. Captain Rumbeard started as a ship's dentist. He killed the captain with a poison tooth. Wow. If I knock out his teeth, he'll just put them back in. He's too focused on the ring. How are you going to talk to them all the way back there? What are you doing? You Felix Lagoon. Before he was a sailor, he patrolled the alleys of Gour, his hometown. Patrolled? Or troll. I forget. I forget which. Nay, his breast's worse than mine. He'd be a waste of muscle contraction. Now you gotta move up here to talk? Okay. Move back there, move up here. What is going Captain on? Captain Marcus Gallo, the untalkable. Called to testify against his own parents as a wee lad. He didn't speak then, and he hasn't spoken since. We call him the Untalkable. Doubt he'd even notice. Probably not. Um... Merchant ship. On the open sea, we'd sink him in a hot minute. I don't need a fleet. Yet. I got enough crew already. Just gotta pass their test to become captain. I'm um, yeah, they haven't left already. Yeah, it's our... What? Who's the fruit stand? Can't fight her. Who will call me up to fight? Me thinks she's too busy to be wooed. Get up! He thinks she's too busy to be wooed. Who's next? This island's full of pretties. Every conversation strains me nerves. 
If I win, will you be impressed? Maybe even wooed? I'd be very surprised. Good crowd? Step in the ring and make them cheer. Are you the judge? Aw, oh, we don't need a referee. The bouts don't last long. Do you train Queenie? She's a natural brawler. We just keep her on her diet. Adios. Queenie puts up with him. Might be useful. If I win, will women love me? Uh, you're not gonna win. Best to just enjoy your time in the ring. Oh, you wait. You work for Queenie? <laughs> She's a gorilla. She don't own the company. So she don't talk? No. And I'm a little concerned that you are. <laughs> What's her career record? Undefeated. And she eats all the trophies. What kind of training does she do? She just eats and fights. That was enough for me, till today. How many matches a day? She'll fight as long as full step in. She got a secret? No secret. It's the unstoppable power of fruit. I've become a fruitarian myself. Ah, I'm trembling. Why does Queenie love fruit? Love's a curious thing. I'll just carry a crate. Oops, it's empty again. Excuse me. Hmm. I'll intimidate with me hardest stare. She not trembling. You get rages? Yeah, me too. If someone hurts me, I destroy them. I never carry pain inside. I push it out onto everything around me. How do you deal with injury? I got broken ribs taking forever to heal. Some mornings I roll out of my hammock and I ache like an old man. How's that fruit diet? We should try out the barbecue later. Ever get teased for being big? Sorry, too personal. Good talk. Good talk. Hmm. Yeah, talk to her, I got enough crew already. Just gotta pass their test to become captain. She decides who fights Queenie. Can't steal that fight card. She's got it in her claw. No one aboard. Another pirate ship damaged by the Barcelona. She'd be in no condition to sail. Fill her up, Sal. She's real hungry today. I'll fill her crates when I'm bloody good and ready. Ha. I'll be back for it soon. Nice place where bad girls and friends meet. How do I to the end? That's where I want to go. Grand Pirate. She has an air of mystery about her. Hi, she be in a sad state. Mystery, Ben, not misery. Oh. 
Sorry. Uh, um, Poseidon's clavicle. She's a fetching lass. But she'll never notice a guy like me. You mean a seven-foot pirate standing next to me talking to himself? I best choose me words carefully to win her attention. <clears throat> you do understand that's not an internal monologue, right? I can hear you. Um, something something cannon? Open your gun ports? That's it? That's your icebreaker line? Uh, sorry to bother you. Wait, maybe you can help. I could use a big strong guy. <laughs> Captain Jane Starling, I'm on a secret mission. Luke Grabowski, I'm terrible with women. Also, swashbuckler in training. Can you fight? Does a porcupine like rum? Does it? I don't know. That's why I asked you. I need you to get a hat from a gorilla. I'll do you a favor in return. And if we get your hat, might there be romance? Highly unlikely. What if I told you it would help me make Captain? I'd say find another line of work. Well, how about if we just say there was romance? You mean tell your crew we take romantic walks on the beach and finish each other's sentences? Exactly. You don't speak <laughs> in full sentences. Please? <laughs> if you help me get my hat, I'll vouch for you. Where be this gorilla? At the wrestling ring. You'll have to fight her to get my hat. This be a real fight or one of them entertainments? From the graves by the pier, I'd say it's real. I'll survive. I never died yet. Why'd you throw your hat in a gorilla nest? I was being chased, so I threw it in, knowing they wouldn't dare go after it. Good thinking. So what happened? They went after it. The memorial was lovely, the headstones were tasteful, and Queenie the gorilla wore a fetching purple hat. She hasn't taken it off since. Why this hat? I stole plans from the Ogu Raiders and hid them in the brim of my hat. Perfect hiding place. Then I tossed it into a gorilla nest. Not so good, that part. When you think about it. Uh, barely. Now I can't get it back. What kind of hat? It's purple with a white brim and a pink plume. Basically, it's the one on the gorilla. Sorry, no. Busy with other things. Too late, Duke. You know about the hat. You're involved. Really? Oh. Okay, deal. My skills will come in handy. I'm an expert thief and spy. Awesome. Skills added to inventory. Yeah, nice. I'll meet you at the wrestling ring. Why does this kid guy here look like Harry Potter? He's got that telltale adventurer look about him. Yeah. Looks like he's ready to fight this other guy. What does your button say? Ask me about your play. Audio adventures where the story reacts to your choices. Oh my gosh. I understand none of He's that. Like guy. Looks like some good appetite. The Corsair crab cakes were great, but I don't know why he ordered the potato-like skins. No, the crab cakes were terrible. They had no frosting. The potato skins, now those were delicious. I tasted skin, but I think it was pirate, not potato. Ugh. I don't know how you keep that stuff down. Save your reviews for the suggestion box. You're driving me customers away. Yes, you're ruining happy hour. Nothing like a good food fight. I bet your friend doesn't know good drinks either. Of course he doesn't. He's a heathen. Oh, now I am. But you couldn't say that when the captain asked for a character reference. Besides, you're drinking a Skull Island iced tea. You know it doesn't make you dangerous just because it's in a souvenir bone mug. Well, who in their right mind would pair a brigand's Bloody Mary with salt pork sliders? Well, inspired by Bloody Mary O'Connor herself, don't you know? Made fresh daily with real pirate blood. Stop. Ugh. 
Those sliders are gonna reverse. Please, Ben, we're trying to have a, uh, a private conversation very loudly in public, do you mind? But it's not like you could ever handle the sight of blood when we were at sea. He thinks he's smarter than me. He's probably right. A punch-up would turn him into another enemy. Gotta be clever, like a swashbuckler. He orders terrible drinks, huh? I couldn't have. I took the terrible tonics off the menu last March. Are you kidding? It's hard enough getting pirate crews to respect our entertainment background. He shouldn't tempt the fates by ordering fruit drinks in volcano mugs. My drink was on fire. You can't get any manlier than that. Besides, you ordered a martini on the bounty. Well, they oh don't serve gosh. rum in bilge water. <laughs> Plus, it's a lovely shade of lavender. Oh my lord. Ugh. Don't talk about that bilge water. You could never handle our rugged high seas adventures anyway. Yeah, mix it up, lads. Your pal's not much of a pirate, you say? He's passable at rhythmic pirate spoken verse boasting of golden wenches, but has no business in the ship's rigging. I needed to hang the stage lights somewhere. If I hadn't properly lit your sea shanty, they might have keelhauled us after your fiasco on the forecastle. Oh, fiasco on the forecastle. I'm stealing that name for me new cocktail special. I don't want to hear about any more disgusting cocktails. Cool it down, or I'm calling the sheriff. Better than getting marooned for upsetting the captain's party. It was your idiotic approach to the game that set him off. Those eyes, that'd be the look of a killer. Why, he's ground dozens under his boot heel, I tell you. The Rooch. A hardened old pirate captain dreaming of the past. Hmm. Alright, we're going to the fruit stand to get out of here. Hmm. Or maybe go this way back to the I'm find that lady I was trying to help. Oh wait, no, she's down here, isn't she? A fast little ship disguised as a fishing vessel. Yes, it should help us slip past the lookouts. Ready to shove off? Yes, your affairs are in order. Remind me, what's your problem? My daughters were kidnapped. They're about to be sacrificed. Oh, yeah. You need a swashbuckler. Like you. How do you talk to ladies? How do I? <laughs> Politely? I don't understand. They, me. How does Duke talk to ladies? Like you. You're speaking to one now. You're different. We're going on a mission. Let's discuss this on the way to rescue my daughters, who are about to die. A deal, yeah? When we be done, you promise to tell me, mates, that we, you know. Yes, yes, anything. Please, let's depart. Let's go rescue. Welcome aboard. Let's go rescue. Hmm. Very interesting. Uh, screaming maelstrom. Beware of graders. Huh? Sir! A ship approaches. Somehow they found our hideout. Alert the guards at the bridge. Go! Aye, sir. Uh, right away. Interesting. This place don't seem so bad. Here they come. Oh, the bridge! Don't let them pass! Not a big deal for pirates, actually. Hey, Lady A, you know what we call these fish? What? Anything we want. They can't hear us. They be dead. <laughs> we'll all be dead soon. These ain't worth much. Know the most valuable fish? Bluefin tuna. 
goldfish. <laughs> uh, pirates love goldfish. These ain't me favorite sea creature. Guess me favorite. Swordfish? Muscles. <laughs> They be clogging up the bridge. Death to you, Yoga! Go away! No one can kill us! Full of captured booty. But mostly in the way. Hmm. Nothing but foul curses for you. Our ship! Ah, I see. That will delay their pursuit. Uh, aye. That's me plan. It doesn't matter. Don't let the giant pass. Hmm. Tall thing. Move supplies. We never need one with me around. Crude, but effective. On be return. Ha <laughs> ha! Foiled! Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Don't be return. That's so funny. <laughs> this is enraging. Your children are dead. It's not true. We gotta get there to save her kids. Surrender them kiddies! We are never defeated! We're never defeated? I'll bust me some heads there soon! Can't threaten machines into working. I try many times. Sometimes breaks them even more. I be no good with machines. Mm -hmm. Machines? Hmm. Maybe she knows how to help us fix this. So, about them zombies. Horrible creatures. What about them? So who be these zombie guys? Undead servants of the Ogu Raiders. They block the only entrance to the fortress. Retreat, monster! How'd you learn about this place? I bought a map from an escaped prisoner. Oh, I hope it was true. How many enemies are inside? My source was too frightened to say. Enough of that zombie talk. <laughs> My mind's kind of wandering. What are you thinking about? What do you think of Sheriff Steele? A woman of quality. But I be the one helping you. It's not a contest. You ever swashed any buckles? You're referring to piracy? Aye. That course wasn't offered at university. Huh. Random stuff's kind of boring. I want to know more about you. What would you like to know? How'd your kids end up here? They were kidnapped as we tried to flee my ex-husband. What's your husband like? Ex-husband. Large, bad-tempered, uh, none too bright. Oh. I know the type. How'd you get us here so fast? My family is skilled in the navigational sciences. Ooh. Science, huh? The scientists. What think you of love? I favor men. But lately, they've been singularly unimpressive. Okay, Duke's curiosity is over. You know machines and technical stuff? 
I'm skilled in mechanicals and mathematics. Hmm. Two of me weak points. We work together, yeah? I had hoped so. I've never been in battle, so I shall follow your lead. Oh, so that's what happens. We get, like... Not items, but we get, like, skills and stuff. We'll sneak up on them. Uh, yes. Ask for help. Um. Oh my god, hold on. Can you figure out this contraption? I believe so. Three levers. Ready for whatever you're planning. Good. Alright, now throw these bad boys. That way they coming! Ha ha! Curse Yes! Ha! <laughs> Got it! Yes, this is working. We did it. Yay, we did it. Most invigorating. Now what do we do? Just go ahead now? Shh. Oh, shh. Yeah, shh. Now we can go to the creature fort. All clear. Broken through! They're heading our way! How many are left? Uh, two, sir. That's all? Man the cannon! Yes, sir! Interesting art all. design in the background. <sighs> kind of like Zombies. different in the front of it. Uh-oh. Ready? Aim! Take cover! Fire! Hmm. It'll take a minute. be uprooted by cannonballs. Stay behind cover and spot artillery. <laughs> Too big to carry without a reason. I'll come get it if I need it. Hmm. A tree trunk. Um, interesting how that is. They can't run from their posts. Time for talking to cannons is over. Time for talking to cannons is over. Won't work. Cannonballs all in the way. Hmm. Cannon. Won't work. Cannonballs hmm. all in the way. So. No, oh, I don't remember. I gotta actually. Hmm. <laughs> oh, are you gonna use it as a baseball bat? Ah! Oh well done. <laughs> Three more. No! Awesome. Well hit, sir. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, oh no. Okay, safe enough now. I are think you... I'll wait till you get them all. Ooh, shoot it out of the park. Oh, me bat broke. Oh, ah, no. Missed me. Are you so sure? Huh? Oh hell. Oh hell. <laughs> well done, Mr. Duke. Quick, we must open the Just portcullis. Just doing my job. Cannonball? Should I... Let's talk to Cannonball. See, this is a pretty good game. Actually. Not so scary now, huh? Not so scary now, huh? Six-pounder. Cast iron shot. Ogu raiders be arming up lately. Yeah. Why does it have a metal loop? Pirates chain them together to make mast breakers. Ooh, that's cool. It's like ideas instead of, like, interesting.
Huh. Um, let's see. We got a bronze. cheap six pounder. Loaded with powder, no shot. Can we, like, pick it up or no? I'll move that cannon when I need it. Oh, okay, so we need to move that too. Hmm. So we need in there. Big enough to stop any man. Yet we must get through. Hmm. Return the Aziza children. Can't, you can't move that. Too heavy, even for Duke. It's controlled by a winch on the other side. A witch? A winch. <laughs> there should be a lever or handle. Don't a yell witch? at me. It's controlled by a witch? <laughs> you worried about them kids? A mother can't help but worry. Yeah. How long have you had daughters? You mean how old are they? My eldest is seven, her sister is five. Do you have children? Nay, but some people say Duke's a big baby. Why'd your ex-husband take kids here? This be a terrible place to raise children. Uh, no. They were kidnapped as we tried to escape his compound. <laughs> Never mind. Rescue my daughters. Be you the villain? I beg your pardon? Are your kids hiding in a fortress because you be the real monster? Very droll. May we continue? I'll get them back for you. Let's talk about technical stuff again. I'll try to keep up. How'd you learn about machine? I optimized Astrolabs as a child. Uh-huh. That's... Uh, I suspected as much. Know your gears and levers? Like, behind this gate? Oh, yes. A series of handles, pulleys, and counterweights. Each influences the others. That sort of thing enrages me. Figured out levers yet? I don't see any way to open the gate from this side. Yet we must get through. So, what be a winch? And how do we fight it? <laughs> it's a hand-cranked rotor, controlling tension. You use them to raise the anchor on your ship. I pull in the anchor on our ship. You invent anything? I devised a self-winding chronometer. Get rich? Not rich, but I was able to purchase my own ship. I'm getting a ship by wooing women. Very enterprising. You had to learn maths, too? Algebra, geometry, trigonometry. Ugh. All part of a well-rounded lady's education. At least in my culture. Really hope swashbucklers don't need maths. Any ideas to get through the big gate? The portcullis? Sure. Between the two of us, we should find a way. Any more ideas mm. to get through, uh... Portcullis? Portcullis? I'll keep studying the problem. Hmm. No technical. Phew. A little technical talk sure goes a long way. Back to so, rescuing. Um, so... We need to combine... It can't attach to the cannonball. Wait. No, I think I she has to figure it out, and then I go from there, maybe. Need your help again. Hang tight. Oh dear. Yeah, just toss her over like that. Okay. I'm all right. I landed on this crate of pillows. I can raise the gate just a bit. Aye, good. I'll squeeze under. How, how, sh okay, I don't even know. Filled with feather pillows. Must be from the Espana pillow ship captured recently. Terrible tragedy. Okay. They be all shut up. Pillows. Duke don't use pillows. Duke don't use pillows.
Ooh, interesting backgrounds, like a tree of whatever. Mama! You'll never get them! Oh, wow. Bloody buckets! He cut the line across! Oh! My babies! Um... I thought these were myths. No one will believe us when we talk of this. Too far away to use. It talks no more. I hear Leviathans don't like eating people. They prefer fish and ships. I'm not afraid, but I'd rather not touch it. Hmm. This was to take us to the kidnapped children. Hmm. Time for talk is over. Rope could be useful. What should I do with the free end? Okay, some more ideas. <sighs> I wonder. Let's talk about the huge chasm. Yes. That's one remarkably huge chasm. Indeed. Did they teach you, uh, chasmology in school? Well, no, but I possess other skills that should be helpful. Any idea how to cross? It'll take more than ideas. That's why I have you. Hang on, I'll just hurl you over there. No, no! I mean, um, uh, let's explore other options first. I'll keep working on me plan. Still worried? A little. Duke will cheer you up. Practically there already, see? Just need to get over the uncrossable pit, then climb the unscalable tower. And we must do it swiftly. He means to sacrifice them. See? Not so bad. Don't worry. Swashbucklers always win. <laughs> Our Captain Amerigo never lost the fight. Until yesterday, when he drowned horribly and was lost at sea. Death be a fearful thing. Not healthy. You got more kids? In case we can't save these two. Please, no levity. We'll prevail any minute now. You'll see. I'm assembling something. So far, we got a zipline right here. I got a cannonball. Nowhere to get a cannon. And that's it. I think you have enough. Enough. We got a job to do. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Uh, eat, take a bar of chain, combine that. Uh, the cannon. It's added. loaded for one shot. And then, zip line. Okay, I can shoot this line somewhere. Now we want to use. Let's not make this more complicated. Okay. Darn it, I keep forgetting I have to take it out to use it. I need your expertise. Hmm, I see. Well, Mr. Duke, I have a target, but I don't have a cannon. I'm afraid the next step is up to you. Okay, let me take care of the rest. Yeah, we got the rest. All right. She's set up. I'll get our stuff. Oh, okay. So he just takes the idea and gets the rest of the stuff set up here. Built it. Thank you for holding up the cannon. Tis what I do. Well, 
Accounting for the weight of the projectile and our relative elevations, the wind of course, atmospheric density, and our distance from the equator, yes, a trajectory of 28.2 degrees shall work. Stand by for action. Standing by. For the Azizas. Fire! Mr. Duke, look out! For the... <laughs> the loop! Well, I mean, that's one way to handle it. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Duke? Mama! Hi, kids! It's a big scary Get away. Oh, He's looking at zombie. Send help, Mama. No, save me. Inspired work, Mr. Duke. My daughters and I shall lodge at this inn. I'll inform your mates of your heroic deeds. Nay, they, they only care if we romance. I see. Well, I'll think of an appropriate response when the need arises. Classy lady. So that's one romance complete. Can I find two more? I think you can. More than likely. Um, where shall we go now? All right. Do, do, do. Mm -hmm. All right, now we gotta woo Lady Two. Aha! There be Captain Starlin's hat! I gotta talk to some women. I'm the only one you need. Let's set up some trouble. You must have wooed a lot of people to become captain. <laughs> Excuse me? I got here fair and square by plundering and stealing. Wooing's not the only way? Never mind. Get my hat. Many people here. I'm no good with people. Absolutely. I'm a spy. I steal secrets and deceive the enemy. If you were a captain, how would you use my skills? Who's important here? The governor and his fiance are in the front row. She's sporting a real pricey tiara. Everyone else just wants to see a fight. Inspire later. Hmm, definitely. Hmm. Start a panic. She'll throw a fuss, draw the guard, maybe start a stampede. Be right back. Hmm, let's see what happens here. Woohoo! Go, Queenie! Yeah! Go, Queenie! Ah, 
I lost that stupid tiara. That was less of a commotion than I hoped. How many gifts do you expect from me? We can't get caught with the loot. Let's put it somewhere useful. Ooh, yes, that one lady wanted to be Tiara. <laughs> Why can't you just be happy with me as I am? Listen to them lovebirds. Verily. What are you doing back there? Just admiring your lovely hair. Thanks. I started washing in shrimp brine last week. Hey, what's on your head? A uh, golden tiara? That doesn't belong to you. Oh, <laughs> yeah? It's mine now. Try and catch me, coppers. Coppers? All right, big guy. The rest is up to you. Hmm. There it is. The fight card that lets me fight the gorilla. Got a fight card. Awesome. This lets me legally fight the gorilla, not fight everyone. <laughs> not fight everyone. Still waiting for that card someday. Yeah, I'm sure you are. We're gonna give experience but I won't give up I'll find a way to win that fight some brain loss hmm do we sell our card or we're gonna have to get another one I guess <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord. Oh, Them I monkeys them. move too fast. Now I smell like monkey. Yuck. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's go. Let's see where this goes first, actually. Let's go to the firehouse. <laughs> it's like, dumped you fast. I'm not really sure how much of this I can eat. Hmm. Big cats nearby. Hmm. Strange rustling in the bushes. Something sniffing me? What? <laughs> A jaguar could come in handy. Now we're taking the jaguar idea. All right. Plunder Cove or Tajel Plaza? Hmm. Wait, wait, hold on. Let's go to Plunder Cove. So. You know what? Stay right there, monkeys. I'll bring you a new friend. 
Now I'm gonna bring you guys a new friend to play with. be fermented. It really messed up those monkeys. Oh my gosh. I'm not picky about food, but that's only fit for beasts. I'm gonna grab some of their fizzy fruit. Mm, fizzy fruit? <clears throat> so. Who's king of beasts now? Um, you are, I guess? Done. Crates full of fizzy fruit. What your idea with? Thank you Just for the follow. To the retro Just brushing away One spiders. Hmm. One of US. How you doing? I see. Keeping the good stuff for yourself, huh, Sal? Be gone, Sarah. Whatever. See you tonight. In your dreams, Anchorhead. <laughs> In your dreams, Anchorhead. Where you de pan? Where's he going? Hey, mom! I didn't fill your crate! Uh, well. <sighs> where he going? Thank you for the lovely follow. Then <laughs> just put a cat in his pocket. <laughs> oh, sorry, Silver. Yes. He's a big guy. He can put stuff in his pocket. <sighs> Excuse me. In the pure fight, give fight card back. To I don't have the fight card. Where the freaking fight card go? I lost the bout. Did you learn from your mistakes? I found an advantage. I'm ready when you are. Uh... I'm on it. How do I get a new card, though? Do I just tell her I'm ready to fight again, or what? I assume I'll just say I'm ready to fight again. Can I buy Queenie's hat? Like what you're thinking. Souvenirs, merchandise. Maybe next season. I want the hat Queenie's wearing. How much? Oh no. No one's been able to touch her hat. Adios. I didn't get the card though. Um. Let's brawl! Step right up. Yay! Ah, punching! I want blood on my program! In this corner, 400 pounds, Duke Grabowski! Oh, Duke, you got this! And in the opposing corner, the 1,000 pound she beast, Queenie! I can't look! I ah. must look! Come on. <laughs> Smart idea about the fermented fruit. I'm learning strategy. I'll tell your mates that we romanced, but first I have to deliver these plans. Really hope she returns in time. <laughs> That's me second romance. One to go. Oh, That's one more to go. And much merriment. 
All right. Where are we now? Our third romance. <sighs> All right. So now we got to go back to the jail plaza. This girl ain't gonna have nothing to do with us, but so definitely not her. off in a cell. The Sailors Union paid your fine. Get in your little rowboat and heave ho. I'm beginning to think she don't like me. Alright, talk to Bob the Bouncer. Lunches drink free. Lady invited me up. Sorry, this club is only for the pretty people. They're not even letting me in. Back in two shakes. Hmm. Now we want to go to the firehouse. You see that fight last night? Oh, Queenie crushed it. <laughs> We can talk to him again. Ahoy there! Any good sauce recipe? Oops, I forgot. I'm not supposed to bother him. Ah, oh, that was close. Any slight distraction and the meat might be uneven. Barbecue is a science. Wait, I thought it's an art? Or is it a business? There's a jaguar in the bushes. Yeah, we keep thinking it'll come out for some roast. Whatever it is we're roasting. I must be hungry for something else. How do I get into that ship on the tavern on the bridge place? I oh, don't risk it, mate. The whole thing should be torn down. We failed our fire inspection, but they bribed the governor. Well, at least he didn't let them build their original schooner on a pub on a volcano plant. They oh would have been God. a real death trap. Yeah. So, no secret handshake. That tavern sounds dangerous and exciting! Tell me more! Whoa! Okay, dude, relax. Yeah! Where's the fire? <laughs> <laughs> but the place is risky. Highly flammable liquids, broken chimney, well, the inside's a fire trap. What about dangerous women? The place is crawling with them. And if those underbridge supports collapse, it's good night, Irene. Oh! Who be Irene? Can you introduce me? No, I mean it'll be the end of the place. But Irene won't die, right? Damn it, Duke. I'm a barbecue chef, not a fortune teller. If I had to wager, I'd say the casualties will include minor cuts and contusions, sprains, and maybe a few cases of smoke inhalation. I'm just guessing. Hmm. Twas a pleasure chewing the fat with you. Aye, any time. All right, so we got to take care of a little hazard problem. Not this way. This is going to dry in the ladies, right? Right. Oh, it will pretty soon. So we take care of a little problem. Let's shut down that tavern. Shiver your timber. There's not enough. Oh, this is not good. Yippee low ducks. Ladies, abandon ship. The guys are like, what? Everyone all right? My heart is pounding. Still playing. Big chance. Quite a fire. Everyone's safe. Oh, yeah. Hi. 
Is this love? Shush. We're fine. We rescued ourselves. So how are you doing? Yeah, this time is the last car. Yeah, better let it burn out. Why don't you ladies join us for some barbecue? I guess we could drop by. For a few minutes. Yeah, there goes your chance. Curse be all gallant men. the tavern? That's interesting. The guy's still dancing up there. All the ladies went to the barbecue. Alright, now we want to end here. That, that guy's like, I don't care. I'm just going to stand here and dance. <laughs> Alright, we want to go to the end now. Skullduggery can drive a man to drink. Duke Grabowski, mighty swashbuckler. Well, Avast there, call me Big D. Aye, that I will. Uh, what's the D stand for? Just D. Parents were filling out me birth certificate when they came under attack by Ugu Raiders. D was all they wrote before they met their terrible oh, fate. Poor guy. Luckily for me, some pirates took me and raised me as their own. Taught me to earn me keep. Ridden the ship of bugs and other vermin. A band of bloodthirsty pirates is only as good as its exterminator. Big D saved me skin many a time. You look more medium-sized to me. Why Big D? Captain McCruskey got tired of mixing me up with all the other Ds on board. And on account of not having a peg leg, I'm a bit taller than the others. I get teased about being big. It's still that keeps me up at night. Speaking of which, did you know that bedbugs are the number two cause of sleep deprivation in the pirate community? Really? What's number one? Drunken revelry. Hmm. So, what's your poison? Hydromethodon. Drink special? No, insecticide. Now that the captain's retired, though, business ain't so good. Luckily, Ben Plunder here asked me to help him with the infestation. But don't let that put you off your meal. New cocktail special! Insects on the beach! For that vodka punch with a refreshing crunch! I'll be pitching the fumigation tent over the patio soon, though. So you might want to get your drink to go. So, what's your poison? Hydro drink? No, luck. No co- I'll be- we'll talk to the roach here. Ahoy, Captain! Retired, actually. Aye, you look exhausted. Oh, uh, Captain William the Roach McCrusty. Retired. McCrusty? Ah, uh, why they call you the Roach? Well, it used to be the Bugbeard. And while Roach's crawling out of me facial hair did strike fear into the hearts of me enemies, it also kind of gave me cruel willies. Blasty, Captain. I finally had to shave me infested beard. But now me cockroach crew have no place to bunk. I still miss me hearties. Oh, oh, there's one now. Ahoy. Darn. Okie dokie. How's it hanging, Roach? Don't say hanging. All of me crew say Ben Plunder and Big D here mutinied and threatened to string me up. Twice the bugs. You mean they were repulsed by the roaches crawling on your face? No, by me silky smooth cheeks. There's nothing more terrifying than a clean-shaven pirate. I'm laying low here until I can grow back a respectable beard. I think people should learn to accept the occasional bug. You and me both. Just because you find a few, don't make it the end of the world. I think people should you talk to um let's see what we got here. He looks to still be getting his land legs. Hey, best stop your blasted swaying for a heave ho. Better not. I might capsize him. Oh, so you heard about our 64 ounce capsized cooler? Too bad our slushy machine's down. Your slushy machine? Okay. Barkeep! What do you call this fine establishment? Been plundering. Been of course plundering. I've been plundering. I'm a pirate. <laughs> but where I be drinking? 
Actually, they tore down the I be drinking to build this place. So, your Barbie called this place? No, oh my it's the Ben Plunder Inn, where drunken debauchery meets family friendly dining. <laughs> ben Plunder at your service. Thanks, I still don't know where I be. You look like a man who knows about stuff. That I do. Then you must have noticed me ship. The Brazen Blade? Aye, fine vessel. Where's Captain Amerigo? Now there was a real hero. A swashbuckler. And I swear on me dead brunch business, the best tipper ever to set foot in this place. He drowned. Blimey, way to kill the mood. Good, I need a sword. Then you'll be wanting a rusty blade. Comes in a souvenir mug with a pineapple wedge and a decorative little sword. This cocktail will have you well on for a design. night of revelry. Uh, I can't handle fancy drinks. <sighs> oh, none of my customers can. They just get loud, threaten to go to the gnarly narwhal, then start poking each other with the tiny swords. And the sheriff always comes to break it up when things get out of hand. Jimmy Grog! Sorry, can't serve you anymore. You're red-faced and slurring. That's how I always am. Look, don't make me get the sheriff over here. I don't need stuff right now. If you say so. I hear tell you've been places. Oh, a few. Ever been to Hidden Island? Aye, and a long and treacherous journey it be. But worth the effort. Hidden Island Ranch makes the best dressing. No, oh, I feature it on all the salads. Oh my God! Hidden Island Ranch dressing was Captain America's favorite. <laughs> Tell me about this island. Uh, actually, I haven't seen much of it. Yeah, Hidden but Island it's supposed Ranch. to be amazing. At least that's what I wrote in the Ben Plunder Inn brochure. I heard students sail over from the academy. Not that they ever come here. Well, let's see. Pirates sell cargo to the merchants in town, the governor takes his cut, and once in a while, an earthquake kills everyone. What's the deal with earthquakes here? Why, the size makes things special. It's an amazing drink deal featuring our most popular cocktail. Free with any tembler above a 6.5. Oh no, God. I meant how come you have so many? Ah, oh, another promotional stunt gone bad. Never agree to a marketing tie-in with an angry volcano god. But don't worry, this tavern is safe. What be your most dangerous voyage? Oh. Well, that would be crossing the Crooked Straits, as sure as I'm swaying here. I sailed from Port Toll under Captain McCrusty and his mate Big D. Twas the roughest patch of water this side of Hell's Boil, which is more like a skin boil than the hot kind. Was there a curse or pillaging? Well, no. Just a minor cockroach problem. So the danger was you fell asleep at the helm because it was so boring? You know... My patrons let me go on about that adventure for hours. Then again, my patrons are usually passed out. Enough travel talk. Word on the seas is you know people. I like to think so. Okay, but do you really know yourself? Well, I've been doing a bit of soul searching since I remodeled the inn. And I guess I never... No, I mean, who are you? Oh, you're just a pirate trying to make an honest living. What was I thinking? So, no any women lasses? Not many. Ever since Sheriff Steele shut down our sail-through window, the lasses prefer that tavern on the bridge. You mean the one I destroyed? Say, you've got a real talent for the food and beverage business. And might you know how to woo the ladies? Sure. I can't keep them off me. But mind in the inn leaves little time to enjoy their affections. What's your secret? Women can't resist a man in an apron. I don't have time for a second job. People are a mess. Truer words ne'er spoken. Are the Azizas here yet? Party of three? They be in the swashbuckler suite. 
The lasses racked up a fortune of snacks from the mini bar, but I assured them you're good for it. They couldn't stop talking about your unorthodox mode of cannon travel, though. <laughs> Aye, it was a one in a million shot. Word on the seas is, I thought a few people are a mess. That's what my bu Word on the- Mostly from our customer complaints mailing list. People are a mess. Can't deny it. Word on the sea- Uh, I? People are a- Word on the sea- People are a mess. Your swaying's got me greeting the gills. I be off. If you lose your lunch, you know where to find another. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to these guys again. You're both green. You must be really mad. Or seasick. That's what really got us tossed from the ship. And it was all him. Liar. You were the one who vomited on the captain and got us fired. That was you. You can't hold your liquor. No, you. You can't stomach the roll of the ship. You get woozy at the sight of rotted meat. Well, ugh. you ga gag around stinky f fish. Green, maggot-ridden beef. Putrid yeah, cod entrails. Oh, guys, come on. Okay, that's it. I'm getting the sheriff. Sheriff! Uh-huh. So, tell me again what happened between having lunch and losing your lunch. He won't shut up about it. And had you been drinking? He's lying. Oh wait, I need to go- no, not the end. I need to go to jail. No time to deliver their mail. Okay, sweetie. Got your stuff. Rip open my coin purse. There's a letter sewn inside. Yup. Hmm. Take it to the governor. Get me a pardon. Governor, pardon. We look at it all? Foolish governor expressed his feelings. Will he pardon LL Sweet Tea in exchange? We write these things down so we don't have to say them. Miss, something here you should see. Uh, uh, no, no need to bother the lady. Approach. Hey, Gov, trade this for a pardon. I have no idea what this letter is, if it is one. What does he want, honey? Just, uh, clerical work. Pardon, sweet tea. Uh, yes. Well, the thing is... Now! Uh, um, yes. Why don't you give the sheriff this? Now, run along, office clerk. All's well that ends well, yes? Oh, a full pardon from the governor. Well, everything seems in order. Mr. Sweet Tea, you're free to go. Grabowski, you hero. I'll see you at the end. <laughs> well, the one guy is, um... I'm gonna see if that guy's still in jail. They said too much. 
They're still mad. Nah, if I punch him, I'll end up beside him. Villain <laughs> beside him. The Azizas are safe. They're staying at the inn. Oh, <sighs> thank you. I appreciate your help with that case. Is Duke ugly to ladies? Uh... The Sheriff's Department has no comment. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Too soon, Duke. A good captain knows when to be discreet. Welcome back from prison! Thanks. I'm sailing off in a few minutes. Too many rules on this island. Give me magic words! Don't yell at my customers! I know him, baby! Help me talk to ladies, please. <laughs> All right. Reveal these to no one but your intended. They grow common with overuse. Approach confidently and say to them, Hearts holding signs, forgive me. <laughs> that work? Then follow softly with, Sweet one, you may sufficiently amazed uh, Cupid and Jealousy are... Go forth, young swain! Speak these lines and gather bounteous affections. How does that even work? But okay, sure. Let's go, um, say sweet nothings or whatever. She's trying to avoid that creepy fire guy. Can't touch unless she agrees. Or unless a massive tidal wave approaches and we grab hands and run for high ground. What? And she says, but I hardly know you. And I look in her eyes and says, Hi. <laughs> Fear not, I'm a swashbuckler. Oh my god. I like the piratey clothes women wear nowadays. Hope I get a fancy costume when I'm captain. Well, enough talk about fashion. I won't interrupt. I know love when I see it. It's so easy for him to be friendly. Hope me crew don't make him captain. Dancing! Another swashbuckling skill to learn someday. In me next adventure. Too late to overhear their icebreaker lines. Hope I don't smell too much like monkey. Hey, Seaman! I'm talking to her. Guys, please. This is a party. This is our party. No pirates. Fight me! Fight! <laughs> Let me get this straight. None of you witnessed anything, and no one wants to press charges? Just a bit of rough ass in Sheriff. Mr. Grabowski, what happened here? I'm defending the honor of an innocent maiden. 
Uh, please don't get me involved. I'll get kicked out of school. Oh, never mind, Sheriff. I was thinking of a different fight. My crew is watching. I had to fight. That's your defense? I didn't see any other way. Maybe there was. Everything's fine. It's a party. We must prove manhood somehow. Ladies watching. If you really want to fight, we have a wrestling ring. I know it well. They started it. People always start fights with me. So, you hit them in self-defense? No one hit anyone, Sheriff. We were just comparing techniques. I'm not asking you, Chief. No comment, Sheriff. Fine. Enjoy your party. Keep it down. A heck of a fight, Duke. Great workout. No acceptable male contact. Pretty girl at a party. What am I supposed to say? Oh, Ella Sweetie's lines. Can I remember them? Mm. Abandoned ship. <laughs> Rude. Fairest, thou hast an Amazon's heart in Cupid's body. Eager for the pleasures of the bedroom or the tents of war. Hmm, I like that one. That must be from a play. It's from a guy from jail. If you take me for frantic, blame love, for it continues without reason. I have to meet the guy who taught you that. Um... Lady, in you all perfections are found which can be fought for on Earth. <laughs> are you for real? Wait, it not done. Oh, Tis sorry. the perfection of your exquisite person that kindles my desire. <laughs> Sir, you do me too great an honor. Enough sweet words. The ice be broken. It worked? I appreciate the effort. You can relax. Let's chat. I'm Mava. I'm a student, you're a pirate. What can we possibly talk about? Now I has to be fascinating? Uh, be you from far away? A fishing village about a thousand leagues north. So, lots of fish? Yeah, giant herrings, also bear dogs, long hogs, life everywhere. Want a rat with a broken neck? Uh, please tell me you don't have it in your pocket. It lived in a hole in the wall. It died hungry and alone. Did you see the driftwood flowers by the inn? No. Tell me. They're growing from an old fishing boat washed up by the tide. Nice. Wonder how far they journey together. There be a jaguar in the bushes. I know. He isn't interested in the roasts here. Guess he likes the hunt. <laughs> There's remarkable fruit at Sal's stand. Uh, Flurmema plurgs and uh, combinations of fruits I've never known. Everything grows differently here. It's my favorite island. Blimey, where'd you learn them lines? There's a gorilla on the island. Do they normally eat fruit? Yeah, fruits and leaves. Uh, what do you eat? Let's not talk about diets. I found saltwater reeds at the bottom of the little dock. Ugh, I hate those weeds. Aye, me too. In my village, those weeds are the bane of my life. Go dig. I saw drunken monkeys. <laughs> so, were they carousing? 
they weren't fun. Mm, let's be happy drunks from now on. Agreed. Check out Mava. Good for her. I saw pufferfish. In this part of the Azure Bean? They're filled with air and used as decorations. Fish are fascinating. Beauty and the Beast. Oh, they look cute together. You study sailing? No, um, natural history. What's that? Plants and animals. I love them all. Mm -hmm. I met a mermaid today. Hey, don't lie to me. Verily. The salty lass were perched on a rock. We locked eyes. Just before me, Captain died. Well, if the legends are true, mermaids rescue sailors from drowning. Maybe your captain's not dead. Walk with me and see the island. Pretty things abound. I'd like to, but I gotta stay with my friends. They're my sailboat ride home. Plus, some of them are pretty drunk. Mava, I has to woo three women to impress me crew. <laughs> really? That's dumb. Mayhaps, but they'll make me captain. May I say we romanced? Sure. I mean, it's stupid, but whatever. Are you disappointed in me? No, I get it. You're a swashbuckler. Quest be stupid? Well, yeah. Wooing three women? Are you training to be a rake? A rake? Maybe they're testing me nerve. Maybe they set you up to fail. So, you think I'll fail? I wooed a lady spy and a noble woman, okay? My mission's complete. Fine. What better test to become captain? Uh, navigation, naval tactics, leadership, historical knowledge, deck procedures, diplomacy, years of experience rising through the ranks? We be pirates, not Royal Navy. I want to be captain now! Sorry you're offended by me ambition. You know what? Forget it. Don't talk to me anymore. Sorry. All I know is how to fight. There's more to you than that. I don't know you well, but you got something. A spark. You too. We'll talk later. Sure. Thanks for not running away. <laughs> Why would I do that? Uh, I'm big and awkward. Uh, girls be scared of me. That's what me crew says. Ridiculous. That's your mate there? I'm gonna talk to him. Uh, okay. Hey, pirate. Yeah, I'm talking to you. I... This gentleman hath secured my affections. Hath he now? We had a great conversation. He's a lot of fun. Quit undermining him. If you're his friend, be a friend. Saucy. Okay, Slewface. Tell our crew me noble quest be complete. I'll warn him. Bring your other lady friends to the pier. Let's see what happens here. It's all right, boys. It's all right. Oh, uh, good afternoon, milady. Oh, <laughs> from the look of things, I take it Duke's charms were too much to resist. Yes, Duke is a wonderful man and will make some lucky lady a great husband. He's got a good heart and he's a fierce protector. He is the perfect man. Well, would you look at that? The big lug might just pull this ah, off. Uh, one problem is, I only see one lady. So, if me math don't fail me, <laughs> mind you, I didn't get much learning as a lad. But that only makes two lasses wooed. Not quite up to our dearly departed captain's standards. What a hunk of junk you all have here. I'm surprised Captain Flynn let you even join his fleet. I just love this man. He is so big and strong. So resourceful. So manly. 
What more could a spirited girl want? Excuse me, miss, but I believe I saw him first. Ah, uh, slow face. <laughs> what the hell is happening? <laughs> I'll tell you what is happening. You bilge rats have found your new captain. All hail, Captain Duke Grabowski! All hail, Captain Duke! All, All hail, hail, Captain, Captain Duke. Duke! All hail, Captain Duke! Hail 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 Captain
get this game for on Steam for $1.99 right now. not a bad price. I said, I'm saying that they can get this game for $1.99 Ooh. on Steam. It's all in chat. For what? This game. Why? If they want to play it or get it, you know. Let's see. If anybody has a suggestion for... I'm trying oh, to talk. Oh. Beat me up, chat. Beat I'm me not. Up. I'm barely like touching him. Gosh. If anybody has a little suggestion for who to raid, uh, let me know. Put it in some chat. Put it in the chats. Oh, oh my lord! Knock over drinks everywhere. Be a heart attack. You can't raid me again. You can't raid me. Don't work. On memory of Jor. Your prune Astrid Bilink. Loading. What's going on now? Thanks for playing. And for backing us. Aww. Oh, aye. We be obliged to ye all. It's really cool. Uh, okay, so we be done. Okay, bye. All right, amigos. I got a ship to catch. Nice working with you. Thanks for all the help. Sure. Let's do it again sometime. She seemed nice. Is everything supposed to fade out? Is, any, is it supposed to all fade out? <laughs> Don't know. This be me first adventure. Digital media. Is it supposed to fade out? Adventure Moon Industries. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Let's see options and stuff. <laughs> All right, that is it, guys. I guess we're gonna find out uh, who we're um. It's here. <coughs> hey, clip it. Yeah. Not seven minutes. Complete game. Sober. Da, 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 da. You're ending. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you ending? It's almost three. You're ending. Yeah. It's almost three. What? I normally stream for three hours, Brian. Only three hours. Yeah. I can't leave. Uh, well, I'm looking for somebody to raid, so you're just gonna have to deal with that. I'm gonna look for somebody to raid. Tell her chat, nobody's in there to tell me anything. Um. Oh well. No one to no one to tell me to stay. So. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> leaving? Yes, I'm leaving. I finished the game. It's over. You know I don't stream that long. It... Yeah, see? I'm not streaming 24 hours. I'm not doing King's Quest right now. I'll do it tomorrow or the next day. Hmm. Who who do you want me to raid? Who are you raiding? Tomorrow we'll do some Tall Tales. I'll stream longer tomorrow, okay? Who are we, who are we raiding, guys? I need, I need a raid suggestion. Other than me, because... Let's see, actually, who is... 
Hmm. Well, we got some. Oh, I don't know. Some retro. Like the legend of Dead by Retro. Metro. Dead by. Dead by Sort of. Well, maybe like the back of the cabin or something. But yeah, um, the next series we'll be doing is King's Quest. <clears throat> um, but if we don't have anybody suggested to go off to, then uh, well, I wonder if anybody else is streaming this. I don't know. Probably not. Probably not. I'm wondering, I have a question for you guys before I, I leave. It. You got it? Got what? Um, would you guys like to see some MMO gameplay? Because, I mean, I used to do World of Warcraft and do, like, voiceover for, like, reading the quest text and stuff. And people used to like that, but I don't know. I feel people might be bored. M MMOs are whack. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. Well, since we're not oh, having any suggestions, I still need to go find something I want to eat. Then I'm gonna end stream, and then we'll um do some tall tales tomorrow. So I will see you guys next time. Thank you, Silver, for dropping in. And who was the follow? Jar. Hey, Starchies, something. And also be working on uh, Raid Silver. Silver doesn't stream. If Silver streams, sure. Maybe when Silver streams, I, I will raid him. Um, but yeah, if any of the five people that are watching know anybody that streams, or. Raid Silver. Silver doesn't stream. <laughs> okay, Silver, get on and stream something so I can raid you. Alright, we'll raid his channel then. Go ahead. Go raid Silver's channel. Send these five people off to nowhere. <laughs> Alright, um, yes. Uh, some of you know some, some of my emotes are gone. I'm actually re redoing some emotes. Uh, redoing my emotes because I don't like them. But why? Well, so, so, you know, you can stream too. Be a streamer. You know? But yeah. As for why I don't like my emotes, I don't like them. Oh my gosh, why are you raiding his channel? Oh my gosh. There's, he doesn't, like, see a thieves, you know? Do some, you know? Play some Thief of Thieves, like when we do, like, group play or something. Do that. You can do that, you know? We can set you up with some stuff, you know? All right, guys, I'm heading out. Everyone have a good night and see you tomorrow. I don't know. Are you streaming tomorrow, baby? Uh, maybe. Maybe Short Wolf might be streaming tomorrow. If not, then see if Thieves Tall Tales with him tomorrow. Don't know. We'll see. All right, guys. Bye. <laughs>